it's Lee Ann here and I get a lot of questions about what you should be doing on your off days when you're not going to the gym and specifically this came from Paige and uh, Paige asks you know what should I be doing I want to make sure that I'm keeping up with my ritual throughout the week and I don't want to kind of feel blah when I'm when I'm not doing anything so uh, my answer to that question is it's not a specific answer for every single person. That's going to be different for every every person. But the two factors that I recommend that you base what you do on your off days on would be what you actually like to do, and then also what your body is telling you that it is needing and that it wants a little bit more of. So the first thing is, what do you like to do? I'm actually sitting right now in an inflatable kayak. I just moved into a condo on the lake a couple weeks ago, and I have actually never kayaked. I found this kayak on Craigslist for a hundred bucks and I was like you know what I've never kayaked before let me give it a whirl and see if I like it and I just I actually do and I ended up renting a paddle board and just experiencing things that I never would have experienced had I not gone and tried it and so sometimes my body is telling me that I just want to do some yoga or stretch or sometimes my body's telling me to go for a jog or a run or to get my ass kicked in the gym but either way I'm listening to what my body's telling me to do and I don't have a blanket answer for what I should be doing on my off days it just depends on what my body's feeling so um, what you like to do is a big part of it because after all you don't want to feel like you're making yourself do anything you don't want to feel like you have to do something like it's this burden for you to do it. You want to enjoy it because you'd like to upkeep it for the rest of your life, right? This isn't just some, you know, what can I do for the next 30 days or 60 days experiment. And then part of listening to your body is getting in tune with what I call your body intuition and listening to, is it feeling tight? Do you feel like you need to stretch a little bit more? Do you feel like you need to add in a little bit more just breathing and calm, relaxing days? Do you feel like you need to up it a little bit and, and get that heart rate up more or add in some more resistance training? It really isn't a blanket answer for any, any particular situation. So in terms of what you should be doing on your off days, I'd always ask myself the question, what does my body feel like it needs right now? And then what is something that I can actually enjoy doing? Go try a new sport, go find a friend to go hang out with and do something active with. Go get out of your comfort zone. It's a perfect opportunity to get out of your comfort zone, try something new, put yourself in that situation where you don't 100% know what you're doing or don't feel like a master at it. And in the meantime, get a nice workout for yourself. I personally don't do any, um, I, I average about three to four days a week of that high intensity, um, more uh, formatted training like you would do when you come to the studio. And then the, I pretty much try to move every single day, whether that means doing some sort of yoga or going for a walk or breathing or doing some sort of activity. But I try to just get my body moving every single day. A good place to start if you don't know what your body is looking for on those off days are try those mobility videos or the flexibility videos that are on our membership website. I'll go ahead and post the link again for you beneath this. But just have fun with it. Listen to what your body needs, give it what it needs, and just enjoy yourself in the process. So Paige, I hope that helps you out and I know a lot of people are wondering the same thing. What they should be doing, is it too much, is it too little? But Tune into what your body's asking for and then give it what it needs and I, I believe you won't be disappointed. So talk to you soon.